house, you know, no matter, you know, what direction this team is going, it's, it'll always be a rivalry. You know, everybody's always going to watch, uh, and it feels good when you can do it like that. Obviously, different stakes. Was that a little bit of a flashback to Game 6 in 2008 when you guys kind of blew out the building like that? <laughs> I mean, you know, it's just it's a new day. You know, they got a new team. Uh, I don't really think of it that way, but you know, it was, the stakes is always high when you got the Lakers and the Celtics playing against each other, whether it be there or here. You know, it's always going to have that playoff feel. Paul, the stakes have your individual performance. You sort of get a little more personally, and this is the stakes for you tonight. I like these type of games. You know, you got to pick a game that's got a playoff feel to it. You can feel the energy every time the Lakers come into the building, national televised game. Uh, well, there's always a little extra mustard you're going to try to put out there when this type of setting is set up for you. Paul, do you still need a little extra to play that? It always does. It's never going to change. You, know, you walk through these hallways when you come in here. You see the old rivalry pictures. Uh, you see uh, throughout the decades uh, how it goes, regular season, playoffs, championship. I mean, it's always going to always gonna have an extra little edge to this game. Uh, like I said, well, you guys have struggled in the third quarter in some games past. You had 37 points in the third quarter tonight. Talk a little bit about that. I think it was about our defense. You know, I said to the guys at halftime, we rebound the ball a little bit better. You know, we can get out and run and open this game up. And I thought that's exactly what we did in the third. We forced turnovers. We got stops. We rebounded the ball. And we got out in transition, man. And we executed our offense. You know, we kept our turnovers down. That's key for us, especially with Rondo not being out there, handling the ball. And uh, we moved. We just made that pass. We found one place, stuck with it, and uh, took advantage of our opportunities. Kevin's 54 points in the paint tonight, close to a season high. What did you guys run just moving the ball, you know, we made an extra effort to get into the pick and roll, swing it, look for Kevin down low, uh, get out in transition, get some layups, and just attack the basket. How important was that sequence ball in the third when Jeff got the dunk and the block came that three? Was that sort of the kind of momentum swing that you guys needed to really put this one away? Um, it was such a blur. You know, you get caught up into the game and everything's moving so fast. I didn't even realize we were up so much of it until I looked up because, I mean, you just... You get caught up into the game and playing defense, you're into it, you're scoring, you got momentum. Everything is clicking for you, going right. Uh, you know, you just, we got the dunk and they swung it. I, there was no thought in my mind, no second hesitation, I was going to shoot this shot. You could just feel them backpedaling, backpedaling, and I just wanted to, you know, give them that good blow. Paul, Kevin scored his 25,000th point tonight. Could you just talk about that accomplishment for him? I mean, Kevin has so many accomplishments in this league. He's one of the greatest players of all time. Uh, whether it be his scoring, his steals, his rebounds. I mean, he's just a uh, remarkable player. You know, I'm happy that I have an opportunity to just spend some time with him on and off the court, share some of these moments with him. Uh, he's a special player. Not everybody get a chance to play against a uh, once-in-a-generation type player. Uh, just to be in the locker room with him, talking and seeing his work each and every day, how he got to that point. It's been a, run it's been a wonderful ride. Well, six in a row now, despite all the injuries and first half adversary. Adverse, have you, is this saying a message you guys saying right now, right now to the rest of the Eastern Conference that you know, despite being the underdogs, you guys, I think you're brutal. You know, I don't know if it's sending a message, but you know, we're going to team. We're going to be a team that's going to compete every, every night. We're not going to make excuses of who's out there, who's not out there. We got a lot of talent in this room. Uh, you know, the rest of the teams are going to take it how they're going to take it. You know, you know, we're fine with flying under the radar. No expectations. Everybody uh, don't expect anything of us, but we're just going to keep, you know, going moving along like we're moving and uh, trying to get better.